the idea was definitely to go around the world, the world tour, the circumnavigation. The ambitious idea of buying a boat and eventually leave the dock, the marina, and, and go sail away is a scary thought. It's uh, uprooting. You, you really go away from, from your comfort zone, from your friends, your family, the, the type of life that, that you know. So the boat is called Ostrica, which means oyster in Italian. She is an oyster, an older lady, uh, an old model. And I came across it via uh, a Facebook ad. It took me about two and a half months to finally go completely through the whole boat. First of all, clean it. And it's while cleaning that you find what, what is wrong with certain things. 15 years ago, I was a boring IT engineer in Geneva, going to work and, and following a routine. I felt like a number being used, hired and, and uh, let go quite easily. So I decided to, to become a sailor. The, the decision of changing life and, and, and wanting to, to quit your job is not something you, you do lightly. And also making the, the phone call itself was an intense moment. It was a simple phone call, just saying, I'm not coming back on Monday. I learned uh, at that yacht club in, in Geneva on, on the small little optimist boats how to, how to sail, really the, the, the beginner's uh, things as a, as a kid, maybe five, seven years old. I don't remember exactly when I started. And then quite quickly, I went to help my father and, uh, and go sailing out on, on the lake joining some races, regattas. What I managed to do is uh, to finally make that uh, childhood dream come true. Being on a boat 24 hours uh, every day, you cannot stop. You, you cannot just say, we take the sails down and, and drop the anchor like you would do in a bay from St. Helena to the Caribbean, that took us 28 days, four weeks. Yes, we, we did, in the evening, bump into a sleeping whale. Didn't really see the whale, because it was dark. But the, the conditions were definitely that, okay, this, the only explanation for, for this boom and, and uh, the jolt of the, the boat is, is a whale. So that was in May this year that after four and a half years, I crossed my old wake just south of Antigua in the Caribbean. It happened on, on a morning, quite early. The rest of the crew was, um, was asleep and it was my watch. So I wake up everyone. I had already prepared the bottle of champagne in the fridge and uh, once they come up with their small eyes, oh, what's going on? So yeah, we just uh, cross my old wake and I've circumnavigated the, the world. And quite soon after that came the question, and now what? What do I do? <laughs> what else can, can I dream about? Is there a bigger dream? At one point, the idea was to come back to Europe, come back to maybe Switzerland, and, and leave the boat life uh, on hold, maybe. The answer was going in that direction, and now it's completely flipped over. My feet are still itchy, 
and I still want to, to go and explore. The other reason is, is that I met uh, a lady, uh, an Italian lady here in Sicily and her dream is also to, to go and travel and, and sail. What other dream could I have than having a bigger dream? So even if there are still quite a few questions to, to answer, the, the main goal for now is to go around a, a second time.